all right guys welcome back so in the last video we learned how to add text to our mobile application in this video we are going to learn how to add buttons and something also about screens so screen you can think of it as your android application or your ios application screen on which we can add different elements like buttons navigation drawers and top bars and all that cool stuff so labels don't require the screen to be present but all of these other elements require the screen to be present so first of all we'll be adding that screen inside our code and then we'll be adding that button inside the screen so first of all we need to add the screen so what we're going to do is from kiwi md we are going to import our screen so from uix we are going to import our screen and then in capital s we are going to import the functionality of the screen and then we need to add this screen inside our demo app so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a variable of screen just for the sake of clarity i'm just going to call it screen but you can call it whatever you want and then to add the functionality of the screen i'm just going to use the screen what we have imported so whenever we use this variable of screen you can think of it as your application window on which we can add stuff now let's create our first button and uh, it's very simple how to create a button so we're just going to write from kiwi md and we are going to import the same thing so we're going to write kiwi md dot ui X dot button and then over here you'll be able to see that there are a lot of buttons present over here so make sure you check out all of them but we are going to get started with a simple md flat button so let's import that first and then creating a button it's very very easy we are just going to call it md flat equals to and then to create an md flat button we are going to use this functionality and inside this it's going to require a text as to what the button should be called so i'm just going to call this text uh, as hello world let's make sure that is accurate and then we are going to just return this button flat over here inside our screen and before we return this button flat actually let's add this button flat to our screen so that we can actually see it so what we are going to do is we're just going to write screen and this functionality is kind of equal to the or kind of same to the layouts functionality that we have already learned in the kiwi basic series so you'll be familiar with the add widget functions we are going to write screen dot add underscore widget and then we are going to add our button inside the screen so let's write button underscore flat so now we have added to our screen and it's showing an error because this screen should be inside our build function because we also want the screen to be built and let's format everything properly and instead of returning the button flat let's return the screen so this will be showing on our application window and now let's run this main.py file and see how it looks so you can see that there's this button over here in the bottom left corner over here and it's a little bit small and it's on the bottom left but there still is a button on which you can click and do stuff now what if we wanted this button to appear in the center then we can use the position hint which we have already learned about so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add another parameter over here of position hint and it is kind of a dictionary so it requires two values center x and center y so let's give it a first value of center x and we want it to appear in the center of the screen so we are just going to write 0.5 Again, if you're not able to understand why we have written 0.5 over here, make sure you go and look at the Kiwi basic series. And now for center Y, we are gonna do the same thing. So we are just gonna write center underscore Y. And we also want it to appear in the center. So I'm also gonna give it a value of 0.5. Now let's make sure that everything is formatted properly and uh, let's reload it. And you'll be able to see that this button is gonna appear in the center. Now that we have learned about the simple MD flat button, let's learn about my favorite kind of button that is the MD rectangular flat button. So let's write MD and then this is my favorite button over here and we'll be using this most of the time. So instead of this MD flat button, what we can do is we can just replace this with MD rectangular flat button and we can just reload it and you'll be able to see that cool button appears over here with kind of a blue overlay and kind of a blue border with a blue text and it looks really really good so this is the button that we'll be using the most and one thing i want to show you guys is that if you wanted to create the same button in kiwi and not in kiwi md so right now we are working with kiwi md but if you wanted to create the same button in Kiwi, this is the code, this is the amount of code that you would have to write to create the same effect. So for example, this code has been properly created with Kiwi and if I right click and run on this Kiwi underscore button, you can see that the button is kind of the same, but the amount of code required to create this button is so much. So that is why Kiwi MD comes in handy when we want to create cool stuff for mobile applications. Another kind of button is using an icon or an image as a button and for that we are going to use this functionality of MD icon button. So let's add this and then what we are going to do is we are just going to create another button and let's just call it icon underscore button equals to we are going to add the MD icon button functionality. So let's use that and this will instead of text will require an icon because we are using an image as a button. So it will require an icon and we have already discovered this or covered this in the last video or how do we get these icons. So for example, if I just use Android 
and this buttons can be found in just like we discussed in the last video if you go to kiwi basics arthur about kiwi basics and you go to labels and notes you'll be able to see that there is a github link which we covered in the last video and if you open it up it has all of these icons that you can use so i'm just going to use one of those icons called android and we want it to appear in the center so i'm just going to copy and paste this over here add a comma and paste this over here and instead of adding our flat button we are going to add this icon button inside our screen and uh, let's after adding it let's run this and see how it looks so i added the or ran the wrong python file so let's close our kiwi python file and let's run this kiwi empty python file and now you can see this small android has appeared in the center and you can click on it and it acts as a button let's try and change this button to something else so let's go back over here and uh, let's change it to our favorite python so let's scroll down and search for a language python so i'm just going to copy this and paste this over here and make our python as a button so let's reload this and see how it looks so now you can see that this python icon is acting as a button and then the last kind of button that i wanted to discuss was md floating action button which is a pretty cool button to be honest so uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to add this over here and instead of using this MD icon button, I'm just going to copy this from here and paste this over here. And it's, the code is going to remain the same. But what it will do is it will add an extra kind of a circular color over here. And you can see that this button looks pretty, pretty cool. So, so guys, this is pretty much it for this video. Feel free to explore other buttons because we have just covered the four main buttons. And these four buttons you will be using 95% of the time. So rest of the buttons you won't be using that much. That is why I felt that it was really important to cover at least these four buttons so all right guys this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to learn about themes and how to change the theme to different colors of the whole android application in the next video so i'll see you over there